So, last take of this pretty scatterbrain. I want to try to like do stuff in order or at least some order. So, Da Vinci Lily uh or Da Vinci Rider, Grand Cavallo, uh Lolly Vinci, however you want to call her Da Vinci is like was my preference for a long time time. Um yeah, she got her first skill buff and it's not even a big one in the grand scheme of things, but it does enable her to do what she was already doing even better. Uh, ideally for a servant like this, uh, in my opinion, if you want to use her outside of farming, you're going to need her with Tomomo. Um, because what Da Vinci is going to do is enable your supports to MP almost as frequently as Da Vinci. And if one of your supports is Tomomo, her actually MPing every turn is going to result in a lot a lot more gains and then using her with uh da vinci with castoria uh da vinci has oc so you can use her in invincible comp and this would be a case where invincible comp would be uh tomo and castoria it wouldn't be the same cadence you wouldn't be doing like normal uh you wouldn't be doing the normal uh, cadence with Castoria, meaning you pop like once every three turns and you put Castoria's MP last so she gets the most OC. Uh, in this case, you probably would be popping Castoria first um, and really just spamming her MP as much as you as you need, uh, where Tomomo and Da Vinci Lily are gonna go behind so they can fill Castoria's uh, MP gauge. So. This is especially going to be more beneficial if you are in a fight where the enemy is only shooting AOE at you. Like for enemies that only hit you once or only hit one enemy one time uh, to take a stack, uh, this much solemn defense spam probably not needed. But if the enemy constantly every single attack three times, there's uh, AOE knocking out all your solemn defense. Uh, higher uptime on the popping is what's going to save you because it's you take away chip damage and if Castori can MP or if she can MP every time even better because that's also an attack buff like Castori's MP is just more is more than solemn defense all right so let's get started talking about base stats uh 10.8k it is a good number for a five star it's not the best this is close to four star numbers but it could be worse we could be looking at uh bunny toria or Ki kinshi wong uh that have like 9.5k attack which is like actually in the four star category doesn't matter that they're uh rulers at that point uh or that they have super high attack buffs in their kit uh their base stats are still like really low and will they're not they're gonna need their ce to give them more base attack so that their powerful attack buffs have more bite to it um 14.1k hp it's a good this is a better number for a five star um but not the most important it just means she can take a little more damage uh and be able to heal back up from it easier um like technically more resistance to one shots but most of the time she's not even gonna have her hp low enough to get one shot or she's gonna have some kind of protection to make it so that's not happening Star weight star gen are normal rider numbers and we charge that 0.49 uh this is a healthier this is around zenobia's mp gain and i uh and now that da vinci's actually going to be able to crit on our arts cards consistently uh her uptime on mp if she doesn't have buffs is just going to be better uh, uh like i said Four hit arts cards at 0.49. This is a very good number for some of the more modern arts units. Uh, a lot of them that have four hits, their MP gain is around this number. Uh, if Da Vinci had more hits on her MP, if she ha if they gave her more hits, her kit wouldn't be the way it is. So I'm not gonna say like they need to like buff this. It's like more you need to know how to play around it because if you're fighting one enemy you're really this is yeah if you're fighting one or two enemies this number is going to show way more uh but her having her base refund number 
uh, consistent no matter how many enemies she fights or if she even kills anyone. Not as big of an issue. Quick Heart has good hits, but it's Quick Heart on a Rider. Don't expect too much. And again, she, even though she had double buster, she was, she was not really critting that often. Uh, just because Arts has a very big problem trying to gen stars for itself. So, first skill. Debuff immunity for three turns. If you use her in a CQ, this is amazing. She cannot be debuffed. The enemy has to remove her buffs first and then remove. And then, like, start debuff. Yeah, start debuffing her. Uh, I can't say that's a weakness because that is literally like art teams in general. If you don't bring someone that is immune, like has high buff removal resistance or can give party wide buff removal resistance, that's always going to be your weakness for every every servant, no matter what. If they if you remove buffs, you're, you're screwed. But CQs against specifically casters that. Uh, really like to spam either buffs for them. Uh, eh? Yeah, no. Uh, hmm. It's like I feel assassins are like more likely to put debuffs on than casters, but it's like casters still do it too. Um, but this still also works on like break bar mechanics. As long as the debuff is not unremovable, Da Vinci's just not gonna. They're just gonna slide right off her. Uh, 1,000 HP for heal. Uh, for heal per turn. Uh, twenty percent gauge per turn for three turns. Uh, if anyone thought this was gonna be AOE, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. Like, why would it, Da Vinci give this part AOE? Like, this part makes way more sense. The ten crit stars, uh, for everyone in the party. And just so you know, this is like Himiko's. This is like Jinikos. It gives this buff to everyone in the party. So everyone makes 10 stars every turn a total of 30 stars any amount of star gen you do is probably going to make like all your cards at least have like 60 to 70 percent grit if not some of them are guaranteed to grit this is a lot of stars and probably one of the better things they could have done if they want her to like fill the role of like invincible comp uh, your supports are actually be going to be able to crit on their arts card. So their chances of being able to use their M their MPs, which is going to help you stay alive, is just going to be higher, especially someone like Tabamo that's base gain is so horrendously bad. If she's not spamming arts chains and if she's not putting on her arts card, you're not going to have good uptime on her MP. And for a lot of for what Da Vinci wants to do specifically, she wants Tomo casting her MP like as frequently as possible because that will also reduce the downtime Da Vinci has on any of her skills. If Tomo is popping her MP every single turn, or maybe not every turn, but like maybe two turns in a row or like every other turn, just like a frequent enough uptime, there's a good chance that Da Vinci will have these skills up either 100% of the time or literally only down for one turn and then you just keep going. Uh, if you have a pen five to reduce the cooldown for all of her skills, it makes that first uh, instance of like starting to like ramp up, it will make it like considerably shorter and you'll have a double stack for at least one turn or a very uh, much higher likelihood of having higher stacks in the first turn. Second skill. Dodge that lasts for one attack. There is no duration on this. Uh, and funny enough, in Castoria teams, she is going to have this dodge. She's going to have invul, and then she's going to have solemn defense. Unless you're fighting someone that can remove your buffs, there is no conceivable way Da Vinci could take damage. No, no way. Because no matter what kind of um, defense pierce you have, defense. Um, not, obviously not defense pierce itself but like sure hit invul uh solemn defense pierce none of those can work on a ser on a servant if they literally have all of them up at once now the dodge again is only gonna last one attack so if you do if you are fighting someone with solemn defense pierce you only get the one attack but currently hakano is the only person in the game like that so 
it, the chances of that happening is just so unlikely. It's going to come from break bar mechanics and or they just put it in a CQ. The crit damage was pretty much useless before this. Like you would never pop this skill for the crit damage. You would always be popping it for the dodge. Uh, pretty much the inverse of Musashi, although Musashi is a little different because she's an arts berserker. Her critting uh, isn't likely, but I mean, like the, ter the teams you could use on her, she has like double buster. So if you wanted to bring bitch, technically could for like man attribute power mod. And also not the worst idea considering her super her uh, anti saber is super effective. So it, it wouldn't be the worst idea to bring um uh bitch to help Musashi crit. Uh Da Vinci You would not be bringing bitch to help Da Vinci. <laughs> if you are, I'm very curious of uh what else you're doing. Um but I actually no esports bitch wouldn't be a bad thing because Vin Da Vinci would be fighting casters. Huh. Anyway. He's gonna have 30 stars. Uh, Mighty Chains could be a thing, so if he happens to be solo, uh, very good chance of you actually being able to crit on all your cards this turn, but that, uh, doing a full crit turn also means Da Vinci's not in ping, and I don't stand by that. I feel if Da Vinci can MP, she should be at MPing uh, for the most part. Third skill is what enables her for invincible comp. Uh, and it's this OC here. However, like you have to be super careful about using this because unlike other OCs, this only lasts for one turn. So the turn you pop this skill, everyone has to be ready to MP. They have to be. Otherwise, this is going to be to waste, and they might not even need the 10 battery. It's just, this is a cherry on top. But this party MP damage in Invincible Comp, it is only for Da Vinci. The Kamamo Castore can't use it. Multicore, different story. This is a very good multicore skill if you're using her uh, with a single target DPS. Like, it's three, one, two casters or something like that. Just some, like, non-standard 3 3, three. Uh, And Da Vinci can clear that burst wave, and she'll also charge up the primary DPS to the point that if they don't have a battery, it might not even matter. It, it just depends on your setup, and... Yeah, you will have a lot of extra charge in a Da Vinci comp as long as Da Vinci's actually doing enough damage to kill. Passive skills, 8% quick up, 6% uh, arts up, and her special passive that I mentioned, 20% debuff resistance. So even if she doesn't have the full debuff immunity, she at least has something on her downtime. Good to have. She also has a little passive star gen of plus 20%. Of 20%. This is not going to make it so her MP guarantees drop stars. It's just going to make it so if it's so you're going to have more than just 30 stars, it's just not going to be that much more. Maybe like four or five more stars at most. But at that point, if you happen to do a mighty chain, that is pretty much guaranteed crit. It's like there's there will maybe be like one card that has a 20% chance not to crit or it will be at 60 and then get it gets bumped up to 80 um yeah it, it's weird talking about carding for da vinci it's super weird because it's like she never was one that was worried about carding uh appends i mentioned skill reloading if any kind of arch team that has to do with tomo you're gonna want this to at least be two um or right level six so you have two skills that come off cooldown but in general anytime you mention tomo tomomo uh from now on you're gonna want skill, like this skill to be maxed out mana loading uh yes you are gonna want this for farming specifically because if you plan on using her third skill on turn one that means that uh she'll be starting at 30 percent battery so two Castoria 20% and an AoE 30, and then you have an extra skill one on Castoria ready to go. Uh, and Da Vinci's MPing 
and very likely chance everyone in that party is going to MP next turn. Ve very likely chance. If Da Vinci doesn't fully refund, Castoria's 30, uh, 30 battery AoE is going to make sure everyone can MP next turn. But again, bringing this up, if, if you're doing a CQ, you're going to be more cognizant of this. If you're doing farming, it kind of doesn't, it really doesn't matter that much. Like, be, just being completely honest, like, Castoria overcharge doesn't matter in farming. You're not using Tomo's MP in farming. It's like, all you care about is Da Vinci's uh, OC at that point. And that may or may not have something to do with your looping. It, again, it depends on who you're fighting, how many enemies, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize how bright this, uh, my other monitor was, uh, being, yeah. Cool. All right. Finally get to the, oh yeah, might as well talk about this. Uh, crit damage again. She didn't used to be good at crit damage. Like she never gen the stars for it unless you brought, uh, Lady Avalon. Uh, crit damage. Cool. It's not something you need to focus on at all. Uh, extra attack. How the fuck are you extra attacking with Da Vinci? You're supposed to be using the supports. Unless you're doing DPS Da Vinci like a 120. Like, I'm always going to say that this append works far better on a 120 than it does on any other uh, level unit. This, uh, So if you're not hyper investing from now on, I'm more likely than not, not going to rec recommend this anymore. Uh, unless they're a solo unit or a crit servant where they're expected to doing extra attacks. Yeah. And then this alter ego damage aptitude. Why are you bringing Da Vinci to fight alter egos? Why? Just bring a berserker at that point. Literally just bring a berserker because at least a berserker will do uh, like suit, like uh, 1.5 damage. This is, I believe, just attack up. So it, it's not going to help you as much as you might think. Just don't bring cavalry to fight ultra egos and don't bring knights to fight pretenders. Come on. Okay, MP. Already said it. AoE three hits. Damage to all enemies. Obviously, that's what it means. Uh, OC. 20% arts up. Activates first and it scales up to 40%. And big poobah. Everyone in the party gets 20 battery. So she gets 40% battery just by MPing and not even counting whether she does any, like whether her MP even hits. So even if she's fighting one enemy, she still gets 40%, which is far more than what any quick unit could ever reach right now. There is no quick unit that comes anywhere close to Da Vinci's refund, even though that her refund profile is exactly what a quick servant would want to like never have to worry about farming. Like you, if the base, if their base gain is 40, no matter what, whether hitting three enemies or one, they just need a Scotty battery at that point. Any like quick, quick MPs tend to make at least 10% gain, gain, even if they only hit one enemy. Now, if you are a really bad quick unit, sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Um, but yeah, for MP, it's on it's much more on the lower end for ssrs in fact it is the lowest hitting ssr mp however when you compare it to some of her direct competition like mordred uh oh yeah that's abadron mordred mordred needs mp3 to match da vinci and da vinci does far more than just loop farming because really that's all mordred can do mordred literally cannot do anything else in the game except loop farm Da Vinci at least can be used in CQs because she has a lot of stuff to do CQs in. Um, her most recent threat competition, Nemo Santa. And Nemo has super effective and they're base MP5. So they do more damage intrinsically. But if you've ever used Nemo, you know how tight their refund is. They are literally built for multi-core uh, enough that they can uh, loop pretty much as much as you need them to. If I believe they're fully invested, they can loop 100%. Uh, if not, it's like just a little bit under, but they can get back to 100%. Not that hard. Uh, it has been 
a while since I viewed Nemo Santa because I used the shit out of him in the lotto last Christmas. But because I got him to bond 10, there hasn't really been a reason to use him since. And I'm saying that because I was using him in like 90 plus or 90 plus plus lottos. Uh, so if you're curious about his refund, just go. It's somewhere on the channel. I believe it's like the three turn farming playlist um, that you can like see Nemo in action. But based on what I remember, his refund was like super, super tight. Like it worked. But if you brought him to fight anything other than casters, you'd start running into issues. Mats to level. They're honestly not bad. They're, it's only silver and gold. I like I say that like, oh, it's only that when a lot of people will have issues farming that. But at the same time, you, we've seen how much you need for if your mat is bronze, fucking 72, 48 of that shit. Like, I would rather have silvers that have they might have a lower drop rate but it, it feels definitely better to farm than when you're farming have to farm like 240 something and the drop rate isn't 100 like just re just remember that if the drop rate for something is like you need 240 something the drop rate is 50 percent, or they say it's like maybe higher for some of the bronze mats and you keep getting runs where you do not get anything or you keep getting runs where you only get one even if the drop rate is super high if you need an absurd amount of it like it's still gonna feel bad well if you need, have something that's, like you need 10 of it and it's like a 10 percent drop rate is it's gonna be infuriating but at the very least you will see noticeable progress and you'll be happy when you get the drop not saying that's a good system but you're actually going to be excited when you get a drop versus you keep farming bones and you do 10 runs and not a single bone drop even though the drop rate is like 60 percent or something this shit can happen this shit can definitely happen people can get uh what and mp what did i get i got mp2 of summer castoria like and another 300 sync words before i got the Makura. like don't you cannot assume that just because the drop rate is higher that you're actually going to get it because that's not how proper probability works so sorry about that rant um yeah mats they are unfortunately the ones that are commonly used except uh reactor cores for gold mats like not many servants really use this uh or need a lot of it and plus i believe this is a storm pod no too so even if you do need a lot of these you can just farm it uh yeah similar on this end uh i think this yarn is gonna be more annoying but this is on a pens so you're not even gonna have to worry about that that much bond ce uh arts card star weight for the entire party by a hundred percent i'm going to be very real about this if you put this bond ce on and expect your if you are expecting your berserkers to be able to crit on their arts cards while da vinci is running the same uh ce they're not because a hundred percent star weight on a berserker is only plus 10 to their star weight i believe or at most probably i'm pretty sure berserkers have the 10 and avengers have 30 so it's gonna be a berserkers one star weight arts card versus da vinci's 400 percent no sorry 410 percent star weight on her arts card if you don't know how star weight works in this game uh some buffs are gonna sound a whole lot better than they actually are if your base star weight is low this is not gonna do anything for you this pretty much will only work on riders and even if you gave this to a caster uh their arts card is still lower star weight than any other rider card so this is going to help da vinci get arts crits or another rider it's not going to help anyone else really unless they have again very high star weight to be able to fight off uh da vinci taking stars and if they have that high star weight already like then they don't need da vinci's help because this 100 is probably not going to do anything 
and those characters probably have it in the thousand like uh people that uh, like Melison and uh Raiko with eternal arms mastery or uh let's lot yeah like people with eternal arms mastery like they're not gonna need something like this uh and sorry the recording kind of got corrupted uh da vinci rider uh mp damage is slightly lower than mordred mp3 uh but da vinci is just a far better character than rider mordred because mordred you can only use in loop farming that's it literally can't do anything else because there is nothing else to her kit um nemo is more is better direct competition but not in the refund number department uh from what i remember in using him in the christmas lotto he was there his refund was like really really tight like it was super iffy of whether or not he was going to be able to loop 100 percent or get back to 100 percent when i needed him to um but again it has been almost a year since i was using him uh, i got him maxed out to bond 10 in that one lotto so i have not used him since then uh, I might be mistaken on how his refund is, but that pretty sure I was black rail uh, starting with zero for him in the lotto. Uh, and obviously without black rail was the lotto CE. So he hits way harder, <clears throat> significantly harder. And then he has anti evil. If you're looking for damage uh, and more like team comps for multi core, I probably would just go with Nemo Santa, but it is hard to it's hard to say a servant that's gonna charge her entire party by 20 percent after her mp is and then you can also do arch chains on top of that uh, it is hard to say no to that it is hard um yeah so that's da vinci lily Sucks that this recording got corrupted uh, and I had to record two different parts of it uh, is what it is. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.